What is up everybody? It's Og here back with another video and today we're going to be walking through SM Cath in two pools, the entire instance including the bosses. Now before we make this video I just wanted to give a quick little shout out if you guys are enjoying the video, the videos, please subscribe below and please check out the links for the discord and the twitch. I'm trying to keep a schedule kind of going on discord where I update people when I'm going to be posting videos and I'm also going to add a request section so that if you have a video that you want to see you can request it there and then I can make the video for you guys so you guys can get the content that you'd like. So SM Cath, uh, any SM dungeon actually, is able to be entered at 21 and I typically do this until 42 so it's a big chunk of the levels, 21 of the levels. The XP is real good, uh, it's around 8 minute clears. Uh, starting at level 21, it's about half a level if you're rested per run, so it's about 16 minutes a level. Uh, if you're unrested, 30 minutes a level, obviously. And then once you get higher levels, obviously it takes a little bit longer to level, so it's about an hour to an hour and a half unrested per level. But it's also really good money. It's about 25 gold per hour if you are running it by yourself, maybe with one of your alts, but you're sharing the gold. And then... If you get a lucky drop, you can make a lot more than that. So without further ado, we'll start the video. So I recorded this, I'll make a full stream, full screen for you guys. I recorded this with my level, I think he was 22 rogue, something like that. When you come inside the instance, this first mob, if you have a low level with you, as I said, you could start at level 21, is automatically gonna pull just from range. So just make sure that we can come in, you attack it. It's not gonna kill your alt, not a big deal. Don't have to worry about that, but you do have to kill it or else it's going to kill everybody in your group. So right now I'm showing he's level 23, 82% of the level in. This was recorded right after I recorded the three pool, which I'll also be posting YouTube. So you can kind of see that the XP just transitioned over. So it's 82% of the way in and we'll see what kind of XP we get. The most important thing for you guys to take away from this video is that whenever you're doing these pools, you need to have full health. The mana doesn't really matter. You're going to get a ton of mana back because of the amount of mobs that are going to be casting on you at any time. You're basically going to get 5% guaranteed every single second of your mana. But if you lose health, and you'll see later in this video, when you come out of the ice block, you are going to get very close to dying. I was fortunate enough not to die even though I got bad RNG, but it's definitely possible. So just to talk with you guys what I'm doing uh, with this, you, you want to do a certain path. So I'm actually, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to talk through the path. So you're going to start off here, and you're going to pull these two at the end of the range of Arcane Explosion. You're going to pull this guy. You're going to want to make sure that you pull one of the other guys in the middle. Um, it doesn't really matter whether it's melee or caster. You jump up a Nova to try to max range that Nova and get as many mobs as you can. And then you want to be zigzagging in and out of this little side area. That way you can dodge Frostbolt so you don't randomly get slowed. And come up this path. And you blink right up the stairs so that you avoid um, every mob so you're not getting hit. So you keep up your ice barrier as long as possible. You can see that I still have my very first ice barrier. We're going to fire blast, counter spell, and you'll see all the mobs are starting to come together. And so you're going to Nova them right there. Now you're going to have Nova up again later, but this helps keep some of the mobs off of you. It's a really good place to Nova. One important thing, do not blink down this hall. Whatever you do, do not blink down this hall. You need to blink right here because you're gonna get hit with all the frost bolts and you could possibly hit, get hit with a slow during that time. So if you don't have blink, you're screwed. Keep on running down the hall. Make sure that you save your frost ward coming into this because you're gonna want frost ward to come right as soon as you get out of block. I got really unfortunate, really lucky, unlucky there with RNG where I get hit by a frost bolt at the very last second, which didn't allow me any recovery time. I lost both my shields and I only had 73% coming out of the block, and you can see I still took 50% of my health. I also had one of the Centurions that didn't aggro in the first place. So he's gonna come over. Not a big deal though, because I have Ice Barrier and Mana Shield, so I don't really need to worry about sheeping him. If he was a defender, a defender can kick. Always need to sheep the defender. If he kicks you on the sheep, then you don't need to be worried about getting kicked on the uh, Blizzard, so it doesn't matter. You try to sheep if a defender comes. So what I do is two blizzards with a short walk away, blink away, blizzard again, let them all come, and then Nova them right here. Now you'll see a flame strike and cone of cold with shatter combo, and they pretty much all die. All the mobs that ran away in the first place are going to come back in. They don't do much damage. Your mana shield or your um, ice barrier can 
withstand them. And you'll see the mana. Like, my mana is insane. Look at this. It's regening faster than I can use it. So, then you just stand in the middle, keep up a nice barrier, Frost Ward, and just AoE down these guys. Real quick and easy. Now, the one thing with the two pool is that as we clean up all these guys, you'll notice that I have four minutes left on block. You'll need block for the last boss. So now you just have four minutes to kill. If you have something else you need to do, whatever, you have those four minutes. But you need to wait that entire time. Now, the thing that makes all of this possible and what I had to figure out through a lot of attempts at trying to kill the very last boss in one pool is you need limited invulnerability pots and you need grenades. Now, I'll be showing those two in a little bit. But here's the Rogue's XP. So you can see 95%, so about 12% of the level, unrested, just from that one pull. And we're, what, like three minutes into the video. So in two and a half minutes, about 12% of the level. It's pretty insane, guys. And the gold's actually pretty good, too. So I'm going to skip forward a little bit here. And we're hanging out up here. Okay, so now we're entering into the chapel. Now, the important thing here is that blink right there. You need to watch where the mobs are going, and you want to blink by all of them so that they can't hit you. And they don't aggro on you. If they aggro on you, you just want to pull to the side as quick as humanly possible, kill those three mobs or whatever that you have on you, and then you can get back to walking over to the boss. Now you'll see here we still have about two minutes left on uh, Cold Snap from the last run and Ice Block. You need both those up, and you also need the limited invulnerability potions and the iron grenades. So here are my iron grenades here and my limited and vulnerability potions down here. And you'll see me pop them. I might even hover over them in a second here. So there's ice block. And I'm just basically saying that we have one minute until we can pull. And so if we skip forward just a little bit here. He, I put my rogue on the other guy so that he can run me over to the fountain so we can get XP. And now here we are. So... Before we get pulling, you want to pull it when Ice Block is at 5 seconds, but you also don't want Ice Barrier to be down. So you want Ice Barrier to be about 15 seconds left in its cooldown when you pull. Reason for that, as soon as you come into your block, you want to be able to Ice Barrier. So you don't want to Ice Barrier immediately. You pull with your wand, zigzag for those first two groups right there, like you saw. Make sure you aggro them, because if you don't aggro them, you're going to have issues later, as far as mana goes. Blink away through the mobs directly down the center. If you're not getting hit, block I'll pause it if you're not getting hit you can wait until you get hit to block if you are getting hit though just block immediately because you need to keep up as much of your ice barrier as you can you'll see i went down to 67 percent, and that's because there's a heck of a lot of mobs trying to melee hit you during that block so even with ice barrier I went down 67 percent. i don't use mana shield here because you're not actually going to regen mana on any of these mobs Maybe maybe a little bit, but you're really not going to regen mana. So you need to keep up as much mana as you can. I only use Ice Bearer. It's okay. As long as you don't dip below about 50% with the block, coming out of the block, you'll be fine. And most of the time it doesn't happen. Now what I do is you cancel the block. So I have a cancel block macro. All it is just cancel aura, ice block. Step away and stop moving so that the... Um, <laughs> Starts with an L. I can't remember what it is. It's not leashing, but the leeway. So that the leeway doesn't keep on hitting you with these mobs. Nova, and stop moving. Reapply Ice Barrier. So you should be out of melee range of all these guys, because they're all Nova. And you're going to Flame Strike Kona Cold. Now, as soon as the Flame Strike Kona Cold goes off, immediately Cold Snap. Step one step away. Frost Nova. Kona Cold again. Pop your Limited and Vulnerability Potion. Arcane Explosion three times, Iron Grenade in the middle, reapply your Ice Barrier, and now you can apply a Mana Shield, kill all the mobs, and then you can kill more grain after. I'm going to repeat that again. So we come out of the Ice Block, Nova, Ice Barrier, Flame Strike, Bone of Cold, immediately into a Cold Snap, Frost Nova, take one step away. Coat of Cold, run in, limited in a vulnerability potion, three arcane explosions, iron grenade, ice barrier, mana shield, spam arcane explosion coming out, or Coat of Cold, whatever, doesn't matter, kill the mobs, clean up the stragglers, and kill the boss. Now, I kill the boss from here just to show you guys how you'd kill the boss, but basically, once you kill this guy, she's going to come out, 
if the boss is to the side, he just wished me congrats on a level. So I said, thank you. Uh, the boss is going to come out. It's going to aggro on top of you. That's fine. The boss is going to be casting Holy uh, Shock, Holy Smite on you the entire time. And so you don't need to worry about it hitting you. You're actually just going to regen mana. So you just keep on going around. You're looting. Here's where I typically reset. Now, I'll just run out all the way outside the instance. But I decided, hey, for the video, I'll go ahead and I'll kill her. Now you can see we're 5% into the next level. So we started off at 83 or 82%. Now we're at 5% of the next level. So 23% of a level in one run. Four runs per hour. Each run takes about eight minutes. We're only eight minutes and 30 seconds into the video. And that includes waiting at the start of the instance. So you can see the maximum speed you really can do is 10 minutes per run. Because a cold snap, you'll need cold snap every single time. So it's about 50 minutes per hour. So I'm going to bandage up here, and I got greedy, and I didn't go around the pillar for it, and so I didn't get full health. But I was just going to try to show you guys how to kill the last boss. One thing to show, though, once you cast Deep Sleep, if there are any adds up, and that's why I'm targeting this habit, they will pull. And so when they pull, you're going to have to kill them. It became a major pain in the ass in this particular video, because things just got real sloppy. But we were able to kill it in the end. So what I like to do is run up to the middle and try to kill them there. You'll notice though that my health isn't really high. I don't have a ton of mana because I didn't use evocate. So typically I would evocate to get it back up to full health, or sorry, full mana if I'm going to go try to kill the boss. But I didn't. And then they started healing each other. And so ultimately I started running away and kiting them, being like, oh crap, even this one lived with 21 life because I didn't have any mana to kill it. Laughing because ran down. 7% health. Finally got off the evocate was able to get them down and live with 7% health. As long as you have Ice Barrier and Mana Shield up, nobody's going to be able to hit you. These Frost Bolts aren't going to hit you. You can keep up Frost Ward. They aren't going to be able to hit you. And you're just going to be able to kill everything down. Kill more grain, kill the adds, get all the fat loots, and call it a day. So here's the last ad. Finally killed them all. Took an extra probably like three minutes to go through all that. But this XP, guys, is insane, and people love you for power leveling them. Honestly, you could sell each of these runs um, for about four gold a run to somebody if you really wanted to. And you can make about 80 gold an hour just selling these runs. I personally just give them away for free, though, in my stream. So if you guys want to see this live, please remember to go check out the stream. Check out the Discord. I'll be posting updates like this. Here's the final XP at 7% with all those mobs. But typically, you wouldn't really kill them because they don't give great XP. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.